so I'm doing a bit of a headlight swap. Um, nothing but the, the best headlights you can get. It's um, yeah, Ray Briggs. Um, they have powerful white beam, purple blue ones. Um, so they got like a hint of blue to them. And they should look pretty good compared to the classic Koitos, which are just, I don't know, hazy as anything. Covered in bugs, which doesn't really help. But um, they're just standard beams. So yeah, should be pretty good. Got some already sort of semi-blue bulbs in there, so they should fit right in to these. These are like way more crystal clear. Um, they should change the whole front of the car quite nicely. Um, so yeah, it's just a matter of taking the surround off and taking this off. One of the bolts was pretty rusty, as always. Um, so that can just stay there for now. Um, clean that up, put new light in, new surround on, you're away laughing. So I've got the lights on, all easy enough to put in, um, no dramas, a few rusty screws but nothing new screws couldn't fix, pretty sweet, got quite a blue tinge to them so super interesting what they look like at night with the light on, the lights were relatively orange already, the bulbs that are in them so um, they won't be won't be too blue, but just you know, nice and crystally looking. But yeah, wakens up the front of it quite nicely. Real cr clean, crisp look to it. Just need to go out and take some photos out somewhere. See what it, see what it looks like out in the out in the open. Yeah, so I also ended up. Um, the steel frame that's around the outside, it's a little, little chrome frame. Um, what worked quite well was some um, um, steel wool type stuff. Um, mash of that and a bit of CRC or WD-40 and spray that on it and give it a good rub down. That rubbed any sort of rust spots and perfections out of it. It actually came up quite nice, quite shiny. Um, not sure if you can buy them new still, but New would be best, and then they look the best, but this came out pretty good. Pretty happy with them. Also, got all the 3D printed parts in the car. So, got the corners done. So they're looking pretty. Pretty cool. Um, pretty good fitment. It's relatively straight on that edge and nicely rounded there. The pin pushes in nicely. Um, because it's just a 3D printed pin, it will wear out if I keep taking them in and out. So I'll try not to ever take them out really. Push them in once and leave them at that. Yeah, got my new shifter on as well. So, changed design a bit on that. Had more of a rounded one. But, um, found the rounded one I made at 50 mil round. And I found that it's just, I don't know, it feels a little bit too big. So I've got, made this one a 
about 45 round up top here and just tapers down to whatever, 20 or something. And um, yeah, with 3D printed numbers on it. Again, they're sunken in like the like the trims on the door. Um, so yeah, people now know that it's actually a six speed. Just did a trying to find a reverse. They ended up spinning it up in the lathe to sand it down and then wiped it with acetone and then took again to it with that um, steel wool type stuff just to sort of give it a matte sort of look which I ended up also doing on these 